This is Matt once again from Real Talk and Business. Why I miss the 80s, 90s, and the early 2000s. I want to get just a little more deeper into that topic once again so you can get an even more feel of where I'm coming from in regards to where I stand on that topic. It was fun back then. I had some good times. I was excited. I was excited back then. They have a lot to look forward to right now, but back then, it was a feeling that you got. Man, it was a feeling. Just pure excitement. Pure excitement. Now it's like, yeah, that's the feeling I'm getting now. Like, yeah. It seems like in this reality, people are scared to be who they are, to be themselves. Whatever is popping, they want to follow behind what's popping. Whatever is getting the views, they want to follow behind what's getting the views. It's okay to set yourself apart from what everybody else is doing. It's fine. It's just so much of this cookie cutter attitude, whereas in the 90s and in the 80s, it wasn't so much of that. You know, we still had people copying back then, of course, but it wasn't this mass produced cookie cutter attitude that we see in this reality. And I also want to put this out there, too. This has nothing to do with being positive or negative. I give you an example. Let's say you don't like a particular food and you eat this food and you say, ah, ah, what is this? It doesn't mean you're negative. It doesn't mean you're not a positive person. You like what you like. You're not going to be forced to like something you don't like. And, and see, the attitude we had back then is we couldn't wait to go outside and play with each other. We was looking forward to hanging with each other. We couldn't wait to do it. We was excited and look, we was looking forward to doing it, going outside and playing now, so many of us are just stuck in the house because we don't trust so many individuals in the outside world. So that's keeping us so confined in these four walls. We're not looking forward to interacting with any other human beings. See, we didn't have that attitude back then. We didn't have those trust issues that we have now, from my experience. Now, of course, the 90s and the 80s and the early 2000s, of course, they weren't perfect. We had our ups and downs back then, too. We had our shady individuals back then, too. We had the people we wouldn't trust back then, too, but not like it is now. It's an epidemic of trust issues now. And me, I would watch sports back then too i don't even watch sports sports back then were very entertaining now it's like eh. <laughs> that's the feeling i get now when i see sports and these new video games and these new movies i'm like eh, it's all right it's, uh, it don't move me like it did back then it don't excite me like it did this new stuff coming out it's too cookie cutter everything looked the same everything sounds the same Everything feels the same, you see? Even the people, most individuals that I see when I go in the outside world seem very synthetic, artificial, no emotion, no feeling. Yeah, now it's like people just wanna stay home and they don't wanna interact with other human beings. All we see now is just avatars. <laughs> you know, we're not even interacting with one another on, on a personal basis, on a one-to-one -one a point of view in person. What are we going to evolve into as a so-called human species? You know, they have in this uh, virtual reality, this metaverse coming out. People don't even want to even see each other. That's bad. <laughs> That's bad, man. That's bad. That's bad. We evolved into this. If you want to, you can change your world. We can't change the outside world. But we can change our world and who we are and what we want to do with our lives. You know, don't let it just keep you in the house. You can still go outside and enjoy this reality, too, with like minded people. You want to do that. Enjoy this reality with like minded people because everybody's not going to be on the same page as you. If you're thinking like how I am, still make the best of this life. Don't let it get you down. Don't let it get you down and out. Still enjoy your life. Still do the things that move you. You know, hopefully this reality can learn from the past. You know, if we don't learn from our past, then how can we build a better future for ourselves? 
You see? And when I mean learn from the past, I mean learn from the good and the bad, the positive and the negative. We should be doing that as a society, learning from the positive and the negative. I'm looking at all the house layouts and most of these new houses coming out, they all look the same. Very cookie cutter. Nothing that really stands out from each other. And of course, not all of them, but most of them look the same as coming out. I don't know if people are scared to be original. You tell me, is it because people just want to fit in with the crowd? What's going on? Why are most things all looking the same? Why is everybody following behind each other? You tell me what's going on. What's the attitude behind it? Why are people so scared to be original? Or are they scared? Or they just don't know how to be original? What is it? You tell me out there in the YouTube lands. It's not moving me. <laughs> That's all I do know. It's not moving me, really. What moves me is originality. I like to see people who have their own mind. I like to see things that are unique and original. That really catches my eye and my ears is originality, something that's different, something that stands out. This is Matt from Real Talk and Business, and I'll see you in the next one.